somebody had asked me about the significance of these 15 days called as the Pitra Paksh. Many of us speak of these days as very inauspicious days. And while I was thinking about it, it came to my mind because somebody actually mentioned it to me. He said that these are the Kadve Din, the Kadu Divas, the bitter days, the inauspicious days. And I was thinking, while bitter is something which is not preferred by us, if I am given a sweet and a bitter stuff to eat, most of us would like to eat the sweet. But it is the sweet which gives us diabetes. And it is the bitter which cures us of diabetes. Is it then that these 15 days, the bitter days, so to say, the inauspicious days, so to say, are a very powerful period by which we can overcome the bitterness in life. We speak of so many things, we do so many things. And then beyond that, what happens? There was a very important story of Raja Karna from Mahabharata times. After he left his body and he went into the higher dimensions. Whenever he would ask for food, he would get everything made of gold. And he was obviously not able to eat it. And so he was quite confounded. And one day, Lord Brahma happened to come on a visit. And so he asked Karna, So, how are you? Everything good? And Karna said, Sir, I don't know what this place is. They are not giving me anything to eat. They are just giving me material of gold. So Lord Brahma said and smiled and said, that yes, my dear, that is all you did in your time on earth. You were giving gold, which is wonderful, which is good. But you never donated food. What good is gold if you don't donate food? Because it is food which is essential. And then the story goes, Karana said, oh, that's true. What can I do now? Is there any way to, you know, Correct this error of mine. Then Lord Brahma said to him, Go back to earth and for 15 days I grant you a leave of absence, so to say. And at this time, then you donate food. And that is what Karana did. For 15 days, he donated food. And you know, Karna was a Aughardani, cave and cave. And by this, he was able to take care of the error of his entire lifetime. And his afterlife became smoother. Of course, this is a story. And as the stories of Indian history go, it is very suggestive and indicative. These are the 15 days where we can correct our mistakes. We can connect into the past and correct those errors which have been created. One of the simplest way is or rather more than the simplest way, one of the commonest mistake which we do is we get too involved in ourselves. And we forget that we are a part of a greater society. If the seasons go haywire, we can't survive. If the crops fail, we can't survive. If it floods, we can't survive. If lions and tigers, vultures and uh, carrion creatures suddenly go haywire, we can't survive. We can only survive when we are in harmony with the entire nature. And we forget this. Forgetting this, we work in a very self-centered manner. 
these 15 days are days where you can reach out. And these are the days wherein reaching out is made simple. And the scriptures have termed it as the Pitra Paksh, the 15 days where you connect to those who are beyond, who have gone beyond your past where errors have happened. And how can you correct yourself? One of the, there are, of course, there are hundreds of ways, but one of the simplest is Annadanam. Because Annadanam is considered to be one of the highest dana. And if you want to know the significance, then just do one thing. Don't go without food for three or four days. And then have a look. How sweet everything appears. Any food is tasty. Just let me have it. When people are hungry, that creates a lot of pain, lot of suffering, lot of agitation. And if at that time to such people, we can provide food that goes deep within, not only to the person, but because this person is also a representative of the higher self that connects deeper to the highest self and connecting deeper, it makes an impact within us. This is a simple form of reaching out to connecting within. And that is for us the most important thing during these 15 days. And it is no surprise that these 15 days come just before the Navratri. Navratri is the period where the grace of Devi comes, transforms, and newer things start coming up. But before newer things start coming up, the old must be weeded out, cleared. The previous accounts need to be settled. These 15 days are an opportunity for us to settle our previous accounts, clear our debts, neutralize our errors, so that we can make a new beginning with Navratri. That is the significance, according to me, of this 15 days. The bitter pill needed to cure the diabetes of overconsumption. So, this is what I think is very important for us. Hari Om Tatsat, Namunarain Jayate.